Hello Virgo, welcome to your mid-April 2022 general reading. General, but I think we're talking about love here. Let's see. Oh my god, every everybody I think it's it's it has its energies concentrated in love. Well, I think that's good. Let's jump right into it. So Virgo you are feeling right now that you are in conflict. You are in a war with people or with someone or with yourself. You are trying to... You are trying to make your point but someone or a group of people is not accepting your way of doing things or your way of thinking or as this is once maybe your feelings regarding to sex i don't know let's see the potential and or the challenges for this period virgo is the star is a wish you have a wish that you want to you you want to make this wish come true so this is the challenge and the potential for the end of april and what you need to focus on is that you have in some way a victory here it is the ace of pentacles so you need to focus on this new abundant beginning you know it is somehow also a economical or material victory right so maybe you need to focus on the fruits of your work and your work is going very very well so you need to focus on that uh, i see that in your recent past you received a small offer of love or you made an offer of love that was considered very insignificant very small and the strength in this period regarding what you are bringing to the table, Virgo, it is, it is your ability to maybe, even if you are feeling defeated, you were not abandoning your your goals because you see in the traditional tarot the five of swords the guy that wins is going away with the swords but he's looking back to the people that he defeated so almost like he he preferred not to, def to, to be the victorious one as long as he could linger with those people that he fought with. So I understand here that your strength is in maybe even if you lost, you are still having the attention or the feelings that the person that was victorious upon you or the other way around you're still caring about the people that you defeated in your near future we see the ace of cups which is a new beginning in love and in this deck it is also telling you to choose between a new beginning with eternal love or a new beginning with an obsessive and uh, controlling uh, love. So, 
the universe is asking you to have the Knave of Swords approach, which means that you have to be opened to the messages and the new things that are coming in for you. Because what the universe wants you to know regarding this, this moment in time is that you, you are only concentrating in what you lost and you are not seeing that you still have some things very positive to move towards or to move to to move with i'm sorry and in your hopes and fears you have a choice or you have a partnership and i don't know if you're dealing with the gemini because this is the gemini card and it is basically the only major arcana that you have in this whole reading uh, other than the star so when uh intuitively when i look at it and also as i i learn tarot from um a witchcraft um point of view because i started i started reading tarot because uh, of my witchcraft um, studies when I see the major arcana here and I'm, I draw a line I see that your wish is the lovers so your wish is a partnership is a divinely guided partnership or your wish is a Gemini so I would just throw that like that and up to you to understand if this is correct or not. But this is your hopes and fears. So you hope to a union, uh, a divinely guided, orchestrated union, or your fear, a choice, your fear, a partnership. And your outcome is the Two of Pentacles, which is telling me that you were juggling you are a trying to balance all these things that are happening to you so maybe uh senti sentiments like feelings and love life with work life or your um loved one with your family and i don't know you're trying to balance and and, and make uh, space for everything that is going on in the spirit and the two of pentacles is your outcome in the bottom of the deck as the overall energy i have the eight of cups which is giving you an advice uh, to walk away from the feelings that are not good for you from things that are not serving your highest and better good okay so i am going to ask clarification on your outcome to the fairy tale tarot deck so two more cards to clarify your outcome with the two of pentacles have the first card is the queen of flowers and then you have the devil oh, there we go bottom of the deck the five of butterflies a lot of fives you have here huh a lot of fives so, okay um the queen of flowers in the traditional deck is the queen of cups and you have the devil and you have the five of butterflies that in traditional uh, deck is the five of swords so you have here the five of swords right defeated 
and also here the same thing, defeated. So clarifying this, you have two cards that are telling me that you're trying to juggle the love that you have for someone, and this is a feminine energy, that is actually an obsession or someone or something that is not doing you good. And as this queen of flowers, she's looking down and she has her eyes closed. She's not looking at you. She is not giving you her love. Instead, she's biting the rose and the thorns are hurting him, her. She is bleeding. So with the devil right here and the, this juggling card over there, I really need to understand that this love, it's not good for either one of you guys. It's full of conflict. So, of course, this is only for the end of April. So, we can also understand that this juggling here, it is because you two have still not reached balance, right? And over here, if you want a brand new beginning in love, you need to choose eternal love instead of obsession, of repetitive negative cycles. So, something to think about, Virgo, okay? I wish you luck for the end of April and see you next time. Bye-bye.